This is the solution to written homework 22. In part A, you're requested to find the equation of the top half of the circle of radius 5 in the xy plane centered at the origin and to draw a sketch. So for part A, uh, you can recall that <clears throat> given a circle, with center H, K. And radius R. The equation for this circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is r squared. In this particular example, uh, it says of radius 5, so r is 5. And it says centered at the origin, so hk is 0, 0. So that means that the circle, the equation of the circle that we're looking for is x squared plus y squared is 5 squared. So that's the entire circle. We are requested to find just the top half. That means to solve for y. So y squared is 5 squared minus x squared and then the square root of y squared is the square root of 5 squared minus x squared so the absolute value of y is the square root of 5 squared minus x squared so all of these 1, 2, 3, 4 equations are equations for the entire circle. So we just want the top half. <clears throat> this absolute value splits the equation into top and bottom halves. So there is y is equal to square root of 5 squared minus x squared. And there is y is equal to negative square root of 5 squared minus x squared. And these two are the top and bottom halves of the circle, respectively. So this one is the top half of the circle, and this one is the bottom half. So. <clears throat> for part A continuing. The, this one in green is the equation. And the sketch is this. So that's from negative 5 to 5. Part B, draw a sketch of the solid of revolution by rotating the half circle around the x-axis. So B when you rotate that half circle around the axis. You get a shape that looks like this. So I'll attempt to make it look three-dimensional. So this is supposed to be a sphere. And 
can see use the volume of a solid of revolution integral from lecture to find the volume. Okay, so then this <coughs> equation here is y is the square root of 5 squared minus x squared. And the volume integral is telling us that that should be negative 5 to 5 of pi, and then this square root 5 squared minus x squared squared dx. So let's simplify this first. So this would be integral, um, I'll factor the pi out, negative 5 to 5, and then 5 squared minus x squared dx. And then both of these terms are, are have antiderivatives. So this is integral, nope, we're going to integrate it, so not integral anymore. So this would be 5 squared x minus x cubed over 3 uh, pi evaluated from negative 5 to 5. So that would be pi multiplied by now. So plugging in 5. So this would be 5 squared times 5, so that's 5 cubed minus <coughs> 5 cubed over 3. And then minus 5 squared times negative 5, well that's negative 5 cubed <coughs> minus, uh, so that's negative, so minus, and then we plug in negative 5 into here. That will cancel with this plus to give 5 cubed over 3. <coughs> so then that would be pi, and we have uh, 5 cubed minus one-third 5 cubed. So this would be 2 multiplied by 5 cubed over 3. And then, now this is minus. <coughs> so this is negative 5 cubed plus 5 cubed over 3, so this would be negative 2 multiplied by 5 cubed over 3. So then this, we're subtracting this negative, so the subtraction becomes addition. So this would be pi multiplied by 4 times 5 cubed over 3, which is the answer to the question. And the reason why I never evaluated the 5 cubed is because I wanted to mention the hint at the end <clears throat> the hint at the end says you can check your work by using the grade school formula for volume of a sphere. So just as a reminder, the grade school volume for the formula of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And does that agree with what we found here? Yes. 4 thirds pi radius cubed. 